Welcome back to MS Project 2010 video tutorial series by group.net. In lesson 5.2, we see how to assign additional resources. So first, we see how to add additional resources, how to assign additional resources, and what are the effects of such added additional resources. For this tutorial, you can use the sample project prepared at the end of lesson 5.1 available on group.net. Coming back to the project plan that we had prepared, we can see that we had already entered the task names and related information like the duration, the predecessors, the start dates, finish dates, resource names etc. which are visible from the Gantt chart view. If we go to the resource sheet, we can see that we have entered a large number of resources for the tasks and work related resources which include persons and equipment, material resources and cost resources are also entered along with their standard rates and maximum units of usage. We have also seen how to assign these work resources to specific tasks. At times it might be required that we need to add additional work resources to certain tasks to either reduce the duration for the task or to offload work from some previously assigned resource. MS project defines the amount of work for a particular task when we assign resources to it. We can additionally add or unassign resources from the existing resource plan. MS project also gives us the option of letting us control how work will be calculated for these newly added resources or for uh, resources which we have unassigned. This type of scheduling is called effort driven scheduling. Effort driven scheduling can be assigned to some particular tasks or for the entire project itself. Let us see how do we activate effort driven scheduling. Going back to our task list, let us choose a sample task. Let us take this particular task as an example, task number 102 which is install backyard fence. It takes two days and has one resource, the fencing contractor, working on it. Now we will assign an additional resource and see what is the difference it will make. First we have to convert this task into an effort driven scheduled task. For that we can simply double click this task and the task information dialog box opens. So we can leave the predecessors, resources and go to advanced. In advanced you can see that the name of the task appears and to the right side there is a checkbox which says effort driven. So we can click on the checkbox to show this as an effort driven task. Effort driven scheduling is mostly applicable to resources which will be added additionally or if there are some resources which were once given and then unassigned. So after we click the effort driven checkbox, we can click OK. The other way is that in the view tab and the split view sub tab, 
we can click on detail view and in the little box of the task form which opens below we can check or uncheck effort driven directly from here and click OK. To turn off the detail view we can simply uncheck this box. Now we will add an additional resource. So for that we can leave the Gantt chart view and go to the resource sheet view from the view tab and resources view sub tab. Now let us add one more resource. So let us right click and add insert resource. We can write the name of the new resource as fencing contractor help and we can enter information about the new resource in these tabs like the initials let's say we want to call him F2 since F is already assigned to the fencing contractor and other details like the group the code the type etc which can either be directly entered here or otherwise we can enter it in the sheet and we can click OK. From here we can change the type and show it as work, material or cost. Since ours is a work resource we can click on work. The initials which we had changed there appear here we can set his maximum units depending on how much we want him to work let us leave this particular newly added resource to have 100% assignment units we can enter his standard rate for work let us say 70 and add any overtime rate if we want to give for him and any notes that we want to enter for this resource we can enter here let us say newly assigned now as we had seen earlier when we enter the notes the note indicator also becomes active now we will assign this new additional resource to the task and see how it affects the task. For that let us go back to the Gantt chart view and let us scroll down to reach the task and here we are at task number 102 install backyard fence there are many ways in which we can assign this additional resource to this particular task we will take a look at them one option is that you go to the resource tab and from the assignments sub tab click assign resources the newly added resource will be visible in this list you can click that and then click assign and close now you can see that an indicator appears here to see the details we can click on this arrow and it says that you have added new resources to this task is it because you wanted to reduce the duration so the task ends sooner but it requires the same amount of work or person hours or did you add the new resource so that it increases the total work because the task will require more person hours in that case the duration remains constant and the work increases in the first case the duration becomes shorter and the work remains constant or was it to reduce the hours that the resources work per day 
so in this case the units assignment units remain constant so in this case the assignment units change and the duration and work remain constant so we let us say we want to reduce the duration so we say duration and we can see that the two days here have now become one day now I will undo this by pressing control Z and it comes back to two days let us see the other way of entering this additional resource so we can click on the task and from the view tab split view sub tab we can click on the details and click on our particular task see that effort driven is checked on and in the resource name we can click on the arrow at the right and add the new resource so when we click OK we see that the work has been divided for both the resources instead of the 16 hours for only the fencing contractor it became 8 hours 8 hours for both of them and the duration automatically reduced to one day and to remove this detail view we can simply uncheck from the box here there is one more way of entering the same information so I will press control Z and undo it to make it back to two days we can click on the task and double click and the task information box opens and from here we can scroll to the resources tab and in the resource name we can click on the little arrow on the right side and scroll to find our new resource fencing contractor help his assignment units automatically come to 100% as we had entered and then click OK so you can see that the duration has by default changed to one day and the indicator that we had seen earlier returns so we click on the little arrow here it says that you have added new resources to this task is it because you wanted to reduce duration increase work or reduce the units so we can keep reduced duration and it remains one day so we can see that effort driven scheduling is mostly applicable to resources when they are additionally assigned or they are changed now the same thing happens when we unassign the resource let us say we want to unassign the new resource which we had added for this particular task so we can click on this task go to the resource tab click on assign resources and take the fencing contractor help from the list it shows a tick because it is assigned to this particular task and click remove so we can see that it becomes two days again when we close and we click on this indicator here it says that you have removed resources from this task requiring a change in its schedule so is it because you want to increase the duration so that the work remains constant or do you want to decrease the work so that the duration remains constant or do you want to increase the assignment units of the resource so that the duration and the work remain constant so we can select that we want to increase the duration so that the work remains constant so we can see that effort driven scheduling is relevant whenever we add newer resources or whenever we unassign resources which have earlier been added so to summarize we have seen 
how to add additional resources, how to assign additional resources, and what are the effect of additional resources. A sample of the project plan completed up to this stage is available on group.net. Thank you for joining us on this tutorial. In the next part of the video tutorial series, we see how to assign material resources to a task.